Does it take you too much time to save emails in SharePoint? Have you ever noticed that there are several steps necessary to just save one email from Outlook to SharePoint? But there is a solution. In this video, I will present SOX. SOX is an extension for your Outlook which enables you to quickly save emails and their attachments in SharePoint with a simple drag and drop action. I will show you that the email will be automatically tagged with its envelope data as metadata. Simultaneously, all the email attachments will be stored in the SharePoint library, ready to be accessed by you and your colleagues. And you can also apply your individual metadata and content types during the upload. This means that SOX saves each employee who needs to manage emails and their attachments in SharePoint several minutes of work, for every email, every time. I finished the whole process already while I was talking to you. Now, let's have a closer look. In the SOX ribbon, I can switch on the SOX Explorer view. The SOX Explorer shows me all SharePoint libraries in my SharePoint farm for which I have write permission. Now, I can copy my emails from the inbox into these libraries using drag and drop. But there is an even more convenient way. I can create a SOX SharePoint favorite for frequently used libraries. I simply click with the right mouse button on the library in the SOX Explorer. I can accept or change the suggested name. And now I have a quick way to access the library from the SharePoint favorites list. I can use the SharePoint favorites to get from my Outlook inbox to my main SharePoint sites with just one click and the same back again. The SharePoint favorites also serve as the destination for the drag and drop operations to transfer emails to SharePoint. I will now show you how easy and efficient it is to upload emails with SOX. Note that in this example I upload two emails with multiple attachments. One of the emails contains a zip archive, which in turn contains multiple files. Let's see what SOX does from this. We can now see the upload form, which we want to have a closer look at this time. At the bottom of the form we can see the list of emails and the list of attachments, each separated into two tabs. Here I can still stop individual files or emails being uploaded. Note that the zipped attachment in an email here is already unpacked. So we see all the files from that zipped attachment individually in the list of files to be uploaded. In the middle part of the form, I can specify metadata for the files and emails. I can select from the content types that exist in this library and the defined metadata for this content type. This information will be carried over for all emails and attachments. The emails themselves will automatically be tagged with the content type email. In the upper part of the upload form, I can still choose general settings for the upload. I can indicate if I would like the email from the inbox to be moved or copied, or whether or not to store attachments as files in the library. Particularly interesting is the fact that I can specify how SOX should behave when it encounters a duplicate file name during the upload. The default behavior is that a new version of the file is created in the target library if file versioning is enabled. Furthermore, there is also the option to add a sequential number to the file name of the uploaded file, or to skip the file and exclude it from the upload. SOX also does a little research for you prior to the upload. If the name of a file in the target library already exists, it will be highlighted in the Upload Formulas file list using an orange color. That way, I can immediately see if a file already exists in the destination library. I decide to upload the existing files as new versions. Now I am satisfied with the settings and start the upload. We can see that all successfully uploaded files will be highlighted in green. Files for which a file with the same name already existed are shown in yellow. And if an error has occurred this will be indicated with a red background. This completes our upload and we find our files tagged with the metadata we have entered. SOX has automatically applied the email metadata to the emails, as well as to the files, 
so you can trace the email that a file was originally sent with. Additionally, SOC supplies its own icon to emails in your Outlook inbox to indicate which emails are already saved in SharePoint and on a corresponding note in the email. That's it for uploading emails and their attachments to SharePoint. We have seen that we can easily and quickly upload several emails and attachments in a single operation to SharePoint and apply metadata in one go. But SOX can do even more for us. With SOX, we can upload files from the desktop or a file share to SharePoint in the same way as emails from the inbox. Just open Windows Explorer to drag and drop the desired files to your SharePoint favorites. The same SOX upload form appears as before. SOX also supports us when sending emails. I can attach files located in SharePoint to an email using drag and drop. Note that the email form has a drop area for SharePoint attachments. If I drop a file into this area, it is attached to the email as an attachment. Without SOX, we would only have a link to the file. This would be of no use to us if the email is addressed to a recipient outside our organization. Last but not least, I can still determine if SOX should automatically pack the attachments into a zip archive when sending an email, and if I want to have a copy of the sent email in the SharePoint. If so, SOX offers me my SharePoint favorites and the entire SharePoint site hierarchy as a target to save the sent email. I click on Upload again, and I'm done. Now you have seen how much time you could save and how simple email management with SharePoint and Outlook can be if you use SOX. SOX is the missing link between Outlook and SharePoint. If SharePoint is your central location for all your data, you need SOX. SOX saves each employee who needs to manage emails in SharePoint several minutes of work for every email, every time. Do the maths. What's your return on investment? Don't be surprised if it's only a couple of days. Why continue to give money as a gift? Get your trial license and start saving time and money. Also, check out our SharePoint email reader, the no-click application to browse through the contents of your emails. The SharePoint email reader is also a great time saver.